Hey guys, thanks for joining me today for Daily Devo. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you taking the time to watch these. The reason I do these Daily Devos is, well, I guess there's two. One, just to give you one more tool in your tool belt as you follow Jesus, just some things to think about, some things to spur you on, and that's number two. This is not designed to be a Bible study. This is not designed to be something where you dig deep into the truths of God. It's just supposed to be a taste. It's like getting a snack between a meal. This is not a meal, this is a snack. This cannot sustain you. You're gonna to have to do some other things too if you wanna follow on that journey with Jesus, if you wanna grow in your faith. Worshiping with other believers is a key component. Studying the Bible on your own is a key component. But this, I hope, just gives you a taste, gives you a, just kinda of whets your appetite so that you want more and more of what Jesus has to offer. Because there's lots to learn, isn't there? There's lots to learn as you follow Jesus. And one of the things that we have to learn um, is, is to listen to and to submit to and to surrender to the Spirit of Jesus, the Holy Spirit of God. And God is a triune God. That means He is one God, but consisting of three different people is the best word I can use. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And one example you can use, all examples break down to help you understand is just your relationship with people. For me, I am Jason and I am a father. I have some kids. I am Jason and I am a husband. I have a wife. And I am Jason and I am a son. I have a mom and a dad. I'm the same person, but I have these three different relationships and I interact differently in all three of those. So think of God as one, but he has three different components. God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit. And God the Spirit in the Old Testament was present, he was there. In fact, the, the book of Genesis says the Spirit was there at the beginning, hovering over all of creation. He was there, he was there guiding the people of Israel through a pillar of cloud and pillar of fire. And sometimes in the Old Testament, God would send his Spirit to a particular person for a particular time to help him, to give him great power. Uh, to move him forward in his faith, but then that spirit would leave. But Jesus promised in John 14, 26, that the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom Jesus said, my father will send, he will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have said to you. So this week, we're going to look at the Holy Spirit and what his role should be in our lives and what he is here for and how we can tap into the power of the Holy Spirit and how that is the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. So one of the things Jesus said that the Holy Spirit would do for you is that he would teach you all the things you need to be a Jesus follower. He would teach you how to have faith and he would teach you how to interact with people and he would teach you how to love and he would teach you how to walk with grace and he would teach you strength, but you have to be able to listen. He also said that the Holy Spirit would remind you of all the things Jesus said. Now this is key, this is really important because the Holy Spirit of God will speak to you, but he's not going to speak to you on something outside that Jesus has already said. Like in other words, if Jesus said, yes, you should pay your taxes, which is something Jesus said, then the Holy Spirit is not going to say, no, you don't need to pay your taxes. The Holy Spirit and Jesus, they are always 100% in sync, they never disagree. And so if you have a thought in your brain and you're not sure if it's right, if you want to do something and you're not sure if you should, you should just pray, Holy Spirit, help me to know, is this something Jesus said? Teach me, is this the right thing to do? We're gonna talk this week about how to hear his voice and how to listen to what he says and to open your life so that you can walk the way of Jesus through the power of the Spirit of Jesus. So I hope today you'll check out John 14, 26 and remind yourself that the Holy Spirit of God is with you.